What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Before we get into the episode, if you guys are looking to pick up any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out the gamekeys.co.uk or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code Japes to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. And this is from a while back, Beer Money FC. You can see we're still in that Asia Cup. And this is going to be the only match from that Asia Cup. Take it as you will. Um, but it's been a little while since we've done an episode of Path to Power. Wanted to get cooking through the weekend. Going to be one episode at least every day so far roll, or rolling through the weekend. Probably two of them on one day. Maybe two of them um, on both Saturday and Sunday. I don't know. What do you guys think? I got to do that Q&A. So... Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in that, we're going to do a little hashtag Ask Japes tomorrow morning during the footy matches. So be uh, be on the lookout for that, and I will, um, I'll I'll be going through it at that point. Gareth Bale, though, getting to the end line, steps inside. That is far too easy of a goal to give up. But it's been a wonderful work from the Welshman, and I'm thinking it might be time for Gareth to go. Um, and that is largely due to, we're going to have a formation change, um, cause I'm working on some new things and I'm going back to, well, I'm going to be using the other four, two, three, one formation. Um, and I just, I really, really think that that formation is just the most well-balanced formation in the game. And I, I like it because I get to use every position I get to, you know, and you can have all sorts of different variety. And the sw how, how sweaty was that? Played it across, didn't like it. Played it back, played it across again. Sometimes you got to do that. But the man of the match, Hongman Sun, which we are going to lose quite a few coins on at this point if we were to sell him on. Actually, his price is weird. Um, I'll see him go for like 105,000. And then I'll, I saw another couple go for like 180,000. So we can figure out what it is that's causing some of them to go for so much more. That's something I might be interested in. But you can see I'm doing a little bit of squad maintenance here before we go ahead. And uh, I went into search. I couldn't find a max. Got frustrated. And eventually just turned off FIFA. And the next time we turned on my path to power, the Asia Cup and Nations. Or the Asia Cup, African Cup. Wow, there's just too many tournaments going on right now. But the Asia Cup was done. And that meant that uh, we had really no need to use a lot of these um, Koreans. So I'm going to list them all up. And they are decent little bronze players. So I will most definitely be doing that. But the Foot United Cup coming up. And that is a it's a pretty big tournament that you're definitely going to want to win. Um, and all the only requirement is 80 chemistry. So we'll be able to use whatever we want for that. So I looked at the squad and I said, hmm, how do I want to change this into uh, something I'd be interested in using? Put Gareth Bale over on the right. Tony Cruz behind him. That looks like a nice little right side to me. I thought, okay, okay. Go ahead and put Philip Lom in there, the best defensive midfielder in the game. Just add some Bundesliga players because we've got Hongmin Son on the right as a eh, throw good say in there. Now it's working out beautifully. We've got great chemistry going on. The only thing we might need would be a striker. And I thought, actually, why don't we just play Hongmin Son as striker? Go for seven chem. Once he plays the 10 matches, he'll be on seven chem. He's going to be on six chem to start. But once he gets on that, because he's got really, really good stats for a striker, he'd be, he definitely would be. Um, much more valuable if he was set as center forward. We can go get the young uh, wonder kid, at least for career mode, Julian Brandt over on the left-hand side and get him that extra little chemistry boost, his Leverkusen, or Leverkusen teammate. These are the um, instructions that I've been using. So we're using get in behind this time on the striker. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying that out. I haven't really used it lately, but of course we're doing stick to position for the cam, not free room like the other one. And outside, we're outside mids. We're doing stay forward, cut inside, and get in behind. So it almost, almost turns into a four-three. It's like a defensive four-three-three kind of, um, with a more compact. Obviously, you have a more compact midfield with five players, but I really like it, and I think it is a very very balanced formation. I wish that there was a 4-3-3 option with an attacking mid and two DMs. Some of you guys are going to say, well, Japes, you got the one with the two DMs and the CM. Just play someone with the high-low work rate. And you can do that. But I just wish there was one that was default set up that way. 
Um, so anyways, we're on into the next match. This guy, a subscriber, first game with this team, um, and hoping for all the best. Cruz inside of Gutsa. Lovely little spin on his, uh, defender by Hongmin Sun, and that is a clinical finish into the far corner, getting things started the right way in the eighth minute. Um, and I really, really like Sun, uh, on 7 cam. There are a few things he's lacking, or he's on 6 cam right now. I'm expecting better things on 7 cam. Right here, you can see he's playing on defensive, maybe even ultra defensive. Look at how far back his back line is when you have elite players on the wings gareth bale Arian robin neymar ronaldo um royce you know your players that are strong pacey well i guess Ribery is not really pace, or strong but your pacey players that can you just let you cannot let them get a full head of steam and cut inside because that will happen if, because it's so easy to cut across defender after defender when you're going full tilt and cutting in from the wing so that is something that if you're going to play on defensive or ultra defensive you have to be really really conscious of it um nice bit of work here from holland and son do a little hold up play going for a little you know doing it himself gets his free inside that's a brilliant finish and that's just waiting, 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 hoping I get to see him commit to something that uh, he doesn't really want to. Bait him in, bait him in. And then the final uh, body feint and sets him up for a brilliant angle to score on the far post. So Julian Brand, nice bit of work here. Spins free inside, gets it taken away, goes for the clear as a handball ref. But that is FIFA justice right there. The deflection falls back to Julian. He gets a goal on his debut. Give him a little round of applause. The one silver in the squad getting a goal. And that is happy, happy day. So that is where we are going to come to a close of this episode. The next game in Path to Power is freaking awesome. It is freaking awesome. So I will be excited to bring that to you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, a like a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.